Hi, my name is Kimra Reed. I live in Columbia City, Indiana, and I have been making jewelry for about five years, as well as crafting. And so today, I'm going to show you how to make my embellished rope necklace. One of my passions is recycling, and so we will be using old t-shirts and old pieces of jewelry. So I'm excited, and let's get started. For today's lesson, you will need a extra large t-shirt, a pair of scissors, an awl, some needle nose pliers, a glue gun with extra glue sticks, and then embellishments. They can be old earrings or old pieces of necklace, jewelry, and then optional is a set of hemostats. Okay, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut the t-shirt. We are going to go below the graphics and just cut straight across. And it doesn't have to be straight because you're going to pull these and stretch these and no one will be able to tell. Okay, we'll move that aside. And now I want to straighten this out and I want to cut the hem. I'm gonna just cut the hem off. Okay, and we will put that aside. And now we're going to cut the t-shirt into strips. And it doesn't have to be any certain number of strips, just as many as you can get out of this piece of material. I usually try to make them one to two inches wide. And once again, if they're not all the same width, it'll be okay because when you stretch them, it all comes together. Okay, now I'm down to my last strip. So we'll cut this. And as you can see, they're not even and they're not the same length, but that's okay. And I'm down to the end and I've cut and now I have Oops, I have some graphics on the back of this, so this piece will be discarded, and so will this. So what we have here are about six to eight cut pieces. So what we're going to do is now we're going to stretch these pieces. So I just put my thumb in one loop on one end, and my thumb in the other loop on the other end, and I stretch. And I just stretch as far as I can. Do you want a nice long piece? And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to do this with each strand. Okay, now that I've finished stretching my strands, I'm going to cut them apart. So one end, and then where I have the loops all together on the other end, I'm just gonna straighten it out. And then I'm going to cut here. Okay, now that I have cut my strands, I'm going to divide them into equal number stacks. So I'm going to divide them into three stacks of three strands. And then I'm going to tie this off with one of my extra strands. Pull it tight, take your scissors and trim it. And then we'll discard that little piece. And now I'm going to start braiding. So I'm going to use three strands. I'm going to put the left over the right and I just alternate back and forth. And braid this all the way to the end. So it's just back and forth motion. You always have one strand in the middle and you put the right over and then the left over just as long as you're alternating sides. And this usually goes pretty quickly. Try to keep the tension the same all the way down so it lays flat when you're done. Okay, now I have finished braiding one strand, so I'm going to tie off at the end, just like we did at the beginning. Put 
pull tight, trim, and now we are going to trim off all the ends. Just right down to right above the knot. And don't worry, if you cut that knot off, you just retie because these do not have to be the same length. So I'll come down to the beginning and I'm going to trim that off. Okay, now I have my other two strands done. They are braided. And so now we have three strands. And I just want you to see that they are not the same lengths. And we don't care because we're going to be hooking these together. So now what we're going to do is attach the ends. So I just put a little piece of glue and I just hold these together. That should be good because now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the extra strips that we had and we're going to wrap over this so that you cannot see where we connected everything. So another drop of glue. Now, when you're wrapping, you could also use a different color of t-shirt material. And when we're done, I'll show you one that I have finished that I braided with gray and then I finished off with red. So that just adds a little bit of variety. So now I'm down to the end. I'm going to trim and put a drop of glue. And just kind of hold that together. Try to remove any excess glue. And I always just kind of like to straighten it out and pinch it together. Make sure everything's glued down. But if it's not, I just usually snip it off so that it's not sticking up. Those two are connected. And now we will do this with the other ends. Sometimes it's good to cut your wrapping pieces shorter, but this is not a lot to connect together, so this isn't really going to take very long. And then I'm just going to go back over this one just because of the middle piece here. I just want to make sure I get it all covered. And you can wrap it back and forth as many times as you like. And we're going to snip and put a drop of glue and pull that down and then press. And try to pull off these strings of glue here. But when it cools, you can usually pull them off without any problem. And then I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, so now I just have one more end to put together. Okay, and I'll wrap this. I'm just going to kind of tighten it up a little bit so it's a little bit more even. 
Okay, and now I'm going to glue my last wrapping piece here. And I'm going to trim this. I'm going to press that down. Now I have one long piece. Now you could leave the necklace this long if you like them a longer length. What I do is I double them over and make two strands. And then I just try to line them up. And then I decide where I want to put my embellishment. So the embellishment is an old earring. It's an old clip earring. I do not want the clip on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to remove it and discard it. And what's good about this piece is that there's a tube, an opening, and so we could attach this by taking one of our extra pieces, and I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit, and use it to wrap it around. And you can attach these any way you want. You can tie them on, you can glue them on, whatever works. So I'm going to tie this right here, just to hold it in place for right now. Just want to see how it's going to look when I lay it out. And sometimes it takes a little bit to line these up. There we go. I want that on top. So then you just have to kind of tighten it according to where you want it to be. And I don't want it bunched up. I don't want it bulky. I don't want anything that looks like it doesn't belong. Okay, so right here. I think that's close enough. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to roll this over. And I'm going to very carefully tie this without pulling it any tighter, just to secure that. And then I'm going to trim it. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to glue here just to kind of help hold those ends so they don't come undone. Oops, we got an extra stick there. And maybe right down in here to just kind of help hold it in place. And then hold that on there. Be careful you do not burn yourself. This glue is very hot. Okay, now when I flip it back over, I just need to make sure that I've got everything lined up again. And now I'm going to glue this. I'm just going to put glue on the back of my piece. And I'm going to lay it on the braiding. And I'm just going to press. That should do it. And I'm going to let that cool just a couple of minutes, but now, when you put this on, you now have your rope necklace. And you can place this any way you want. This will go around your neck. You can have this high, low, wherever you'd like for it to be. If you go back to the beginning and you look at the mannequin that we had, and myself, I was wearing one, and then there was one on the mannequin too that'll give you some idea. So that's the project. Thank you. So I'm just going to go over a couple of pieces that I made before, just so that you'll understand what I was talking about throughout the video. This is wider because instead of just using three strands, I braided six strands. You could also use nine and divide them into strips of three and braid that way. However many strips you use is how wide your braid will end up being. But I just wanted you to see different embellishments. This actually is two separate pieces that I just glued together and attached. And I just attached this by tying it on and gluing it in the back. 
And then I made a nautical rope with the anchor. And I just went ahead and lined up the wrapped areas because I wanted the anchor to stand out. This is an example of where I used the gray for the braiding. And then I used a contrasting color to wrap just to give it a little flair and to add a little dimension to it. Thank you for joining me today on this project. I had fun and I hope you did too. I will be bringing you more videos soon in the near future at jewelrylessonvideos.com. Thank you.